I mean, I think Elise and, and Jeff and everybody has done a really such a wonderful job. And in the book, that at the end of the day, all of this stuff is really about incentives. And incentives can be good at creating environments that are safe and have high quality content and engagement or incentives can be something else. And an example of this, um, which was inspired by Jeff's work, but kind of highlights all of the things that I went back and looked at is that um, it's pretty easy to create an account for like a 13 year old uh, on Instagram and, and, um, and then go into reels and uh, watch something that you find disgusting. And, and then you're just going to get a dream of it recommended. And as part of doing that, I saw this video um, of, of a girl, I think she must've been eight or nine years old, fully clothed. Um, and she's lip syncing the lyrics to a song that says, um, you like it when I get on my knees and I arch my back. That video had 150,000 views. All of her other videos, which were much more innocent, had like 100 views, 200 views. But the one where she lip synced that got 150,000 views. And at the same time, that feed is full of, there's a little trend again where teens or preteens are talking about how many likes they get, how many follows they get, and this, they do a little dance around it and about that. And that, I mean, the, the thing about that video is that it 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 just indicates a sort of incentivization, right, of young people to sexualize themselves because that's what's going to get them traffic, and and that's considered a good thing, and that's in the design of the product. The product connects people interested within that and amplifies it. If you engage with it, you get recommended more of it, and it grows, right? And the 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 challenge here that's is 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 that. The, the the company, right? When we, when we hear things like what Elise was saying about the lack of mandate or Jeff was talking about these things, right? They, they have the technology to pursue things very aggressively. Like in general, spam as in sort of traditional spam, right? You have people that have very deep pockets, very sophisticated auto automation. They're all of the time trying to figure out where are the defense systems for uh, for Facebook and Instagram. And yet you don't see, I mean, it, you do see it sometimes, but it's not relative to the amount of investment going at it. But at the same time, if, if, the, if the content kind of falls into category, which is not spam, then it gets amplified. And, and what you have, and what I think is really amazing about Jeff's book is that it's chapter after chapter after chapter of a person going, wait, there's something really awful here. I have an idea that's gonna make this better. I'm gonna try and institute that idea somehow. That idea got either denied or cropped to the point where it's ineffective to the larger purpose of the idea until it got discontinued over and over by leadership, right? And so when I was there, I did a study of like, well, what are teenagers experiencing and I mean, I keep saying, I'm, I think I'm going to become a single issue candidate, right? Unwanted advances, one in eight kids. Last seven days, six months ago, all the data became public. Still no way for a teenage girl to say they got an unwanted advance, no commitment to public metrics um, and uh, about it, no commitment to make that any better. And when you look at things like extortion, when you look at things like the, the, the worst of the harms that we think about, child pornography, all these other things, there's a funnel there that that um, if you have an environment where creating sexualized content with minors is not only acceptable but rewarded, you create an environment where the norm is the first message you send to a girl is, uh, do you want to sleep with me, want to have sex, want to send me nudes or whatever, and that's normalized, you end up at a place where you know, a kid's going to get that request. It's not going to be that weird. They're going to get sent some nudes and then they're going to be like, oh, I got you now. I'm going to sextort you. And then they're going to commit suicide, which is happening all too frequently today because they're not tending to the community. And I think ultimately, the, the if, if Mark wanted to get up tomorrow and say, you know, we're just not going to deal with uh, trading content that sexualizes minors, 
then there would be resources that follow that and then you do the work and there will be issues with the work. There's always challenges in doing that, but it wouldn't be the things that we hear so many times over of saying, yeah, you know, we have a couple of passionate engineers had some really great ideas, had to go around socializing them. And I know from a lifetime of working in integrity and care on these issues that you're as good as the support that you have from executive leadership. Like if, if, if the executive leadership has your back, man, you can make so many things happen.